Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. So as you guys can see from the title and then also from what you see right here, there's three piles. I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds to pick what pile is yours on if this person that is on your mind, if they're playing you or not. And then I look forward to seeing you guys for your pile. Um, something I'll let you guys know, pile one. First off, if you chose this card right here, which is Omens in Reverse, then this is your pile. But what I'm going to do is, uh, I mean, you're gonna hear the TV in the background, it's like my kid's sleeping. So I hope that you can still be able to hear me. I'll try not to talk too loudly and I will be putting subtitles on as usual. Um, the automatic subtitles, um, that way it'll be easier to follow along for the reading. But you guys got a lot of cards. I'm gonna just put them out and then we're gonna start with your reading. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna let you guys know what the cards are also, just so you can see that. And then, yeah, let's see. You guys get a lot of Oracle cards, a lot of messages. So some of this stuff I'm not to spread out and wait before I even get to some of those messages. We have a beautiful little worm. Take care of yourself. We have once upon a midnight dreary, creativity, genius, writing, expression, and artistic flow. And I usually don't take reversals, but I feel like it's in reverse for a reason, so I'm gonna take it. We also have this in reverse too, which is Artemis of the Forest. Now you are independent and free. In the upright, we have Snow White and her animal friends. You inspire trust and confidence. And I want to say if you guys don't want to see the cards and you just want to skip to the main part of the reading, then I recommend doing that if you don't have the patience or you don't have the time. And then in reverse, we have Orca Magic, the Akashic Libraries is open. So this definitely could be something that's karmic in nature because the fact that the, the Akashic Records is open, maybe this is a cycle from the past that you and this person are closing out. Okay, we also have the Offering, the Shapeshifter, the self, the river, the starborn, the poet, the prayer. I feel like you and this person could have been married. I'm just getting that vibe, but um, the kiss, you could even have children with each other too, Eros. It could have, for some of you guys, if it's not that, like it could have been like a friends with benefits kind of connection, you know, a situationship. It never really was defined like what you guys were. We also have the father. But again, for some of you guys, you could have children. There's a lot of different things that's pop up with this. The shadow. This person probably triggered a lot of your own shadows, a lot of your own wounding that you need to heal. The wound. It could have really affected like your self-esteem, but then also Okay, this definitely could have been sexual for a lot of you guys, and this affected um, the way that you viewed yourself and even, like, your body. You may have had a hard time, like, really taking care of yourself, and there could have been some red flags that you guys were missing. Um, we also have the chrome. Yeah, there are some lessons in this and some wisdom that you're supposed to gain from the situation. We also have the mirror. This person definitely mirrored a lot of your own inner wounding and um, mirrored you to get access to you. Um... I'm not trying to trigger anyone, but it could have been a situation where there was coercion that happened or some form of sexual assault or abuse, um, which is still another form of psychological, sexual, and emotional abuse that happened in this connection. We also have the stone. And maybe you guys, after a while, because of dealing with this person, you felt like you had to stonewall this person or be stoic and not really give them an emotional reaction because this person may have fed off of that. But I definitely feel like this person you may have felt forced to be intimate with them, even though you didn't want that. 
they could have used different forms of manipulation to do that you know based off of the things that they said when they try to guilt or shame you for you saying no even though that is your, this is your temple this is your body you're allowed to tell someone no or not if you don't want to do that with them you don't have to i definitely sense you guys could possibly be asexual or be on the ace spectrum um you know you could be demisexual or sapiosexual possibly for some of you guys or this could have caused you guys to become a little bit more uh closed off sexually because of this connection and it's been very hard to heal from you guys you could have even felt dirty and felt gross and even had issues with connecting like with your own inner sexuality like sensuality because you thought that it was wrong because this person made you feel like you shouldn't be attractive you probably could have like been wearing baggy clothes trying to make yourself like look unattractive um avoiding like sexual contact or just contact with other people um you're scared of letting people in and you're scared of even letting someone in your life romantically because you're worried that something like this is going to happen again for some of you guys this is the first offense of someone doing this for others you guys this is something that's been happening your whole life or it's happened for a couple different relationships this is not the first time that you have been um through an experience like this like through this form of abuse you guys could also be very creative and this could have messed with your creativity in terms of like you uh, being blocked off i mean like we have the wound right here which is also tied to creativity so maybe you guys are writers painters singers etc you know you have a creative talent and this connection caused that part to be shut off and now you may feel a lot of guilt or shame or maybe it feels uncomfortable for you to even connect to that part of yourself anymore because the fact that it reminds you of this situation you guys are usually also very intuitive but like i said you didn't see any of the signs and so you could have ignored them or wrote them off because you're trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt even though you may have already noticed some things that were off of this person but you're like oh you know i'll just give them the chance and now you're in regret about that and upset with yourself because you're like okay why did i trust this person because they did all this stuff to me and now i have to heal from all this trauma that they caused me to experience and caused me to have you guys could have been codependent on this person whether that was for like a place to stay for money and like i said some of you guys have children but like you were it could have been like even for attention maybe you thought for some of you guys you thought the only way to get this person's attention because the way that they reacted was through um intimacy you know through coitus and um that may have made you feel kind of gross or dirty as well because you felt like you're being used for your body like a like a doll like a blow-up doll and it made you feel less than because you're like okay i'm more than just my body like i'm not just here for just that and some of you guys like i said it's been happening for a long time you're like okay can i just have people in my life who actually view me as a person and stop trying to be intimate with me or stop trying to only use me for how i look i am more than how i look i have more value than this but the sad thing is this destroyed that it destroyed it with your sense of self and this person had a habit of like mirroring you to act like they're someone that they're not and shape-shifting themselves and their energy that way you couldn't catch on to the manipulation and catch on to the manipulation tactics they were using but also catch on to like what it was that they were doing you guys could feel very distorted mentally right now because there's a lot of psychological damage that occurred because of this connection as well and it's probably a bit too intense for you to face your emotions with this right now you some of you guys haven't even actually fully admitted to yourself okay this person abused me some of you guys may think that it's not abuse because of what happened and it's like no it is like it could have been a thing even too for some of you guys like this person was ghosting they were like in and out of your life and um they were like avoiding you or not really talking to you or if they only talk to you it's only so that way that you guys can meet up and then they can be intimate with you guys and i'm not triggering anyone else for the i'm not trying to trigger anyone else with this but another thing i'm picking up on too is like it could have even been a thing like where you guys were under the influence so you can't consent to something like that if you're under the influence i don't care if you're just like smoking canna or whatever like you're not sober enough to make a decision to be like yeah okay i'll do that no 
And if they have to do that and they're under the influence too, that's a sign that you shouldn't be doing that. But that's not y'all's fault really for that. Because I am sensing that you guys, like it may seem like you consented, but you actually didn't. And here's the thing, you can actually say yes. And then as you guys are actually in the act, you decide you don't want to do that. And if they don't respect that, then you just need to remove yourself from that person because the fact that they don't respect you and your body or the fact that you are allowed to have consent and it should be consensual is pretty damn gross. mentioning earlier to some of you guys this person could be the father of your kids it doesn't have to be or it could be have private masculine energy you know this could be someone who you know you you could possibly have children with or it's like a masculine energy you're dealing with um this person has a lot of wounds a lot of deep-seated issues that they choose to not work on and they don't really care about who they hurt they don't care they just want to get what it is that they want from the person. They don't even care if it's like using you for sex. Um, this person could have exploited you sexually. For some of you guys, I'm hearing they could have threatened you guys by using some form of blackmail by saying, oh, well, if you don't do this, then I'm going to show everyone your nudes. Or I'm going to tell everyone that you did this, this, and this. So they did it in a way where you would feel shame and use your insecurities against you so you felt bad so that way you would do what they wanted or it could have been a thing with oh well do you really think that another person would be interested in you like me you think that you can get another like with another person like me you know it could have been a thing like that for some of you guys too and yeah that's messed up. I'm also sensing this as spirits telling me to say this. Some of you guys like this person that you were dealing with, they, they could be in the limelight in some way, or they could be a musician or some crap. And, um, they could have even used that, like their status, or even something with money. For some of you guys, this is someone who was wealthy, and they used their money against you to get what they wanted. So, for some of you guys, they could have, like, blackmailed you by being like oh well i won't pay for your bills or i won't pay for this if you don't do this this and this or for some of you guys this is about to get really triggering so trigger warning um it could have been a thing where you know you said you weren't in the mood and they may have given you the, given you the silent treatment or did something to make you feel bad by getting angry because you were like no i don't want to do that and they could be like oh well you never want to do that or you're never in the mood oh you're such a prude 
or some BS like that. So that's another thing. Um, and unfortunately, this connection has caused you guys to become so closed off and so cold to other people and just not open. But with what happened with this, of course, you're going to be like that. You're not going to be open readily to like the next person. And some of you guys, you may have tried to control your sexuality by trying to control the situation to think that, oh, well, if I get to do this when I want to, then this is consensual and I get my power back. But it made you feel even worse because you realize it didn't give you your power back. Some of you guys may became like hypersexual. And like I said, for others, you guys, you didn't really, you just are not really sexual at all. Um, you guys may have like a really close bond of spirit too, because like with the prayer right here, you guys may pray a lot or you spend a lot of time praying or some of you guys could even been like, okay, God, like why, why is this happening to me? Like, why are you allowing this that, that to have happen to me? I thought you loved me. Like, what the hell? I've been through this before. Or for some of you guys, like I like said, it was your first time dealing with something like this. And you're like, wow, I can't believe people like this exist. I can't believe situations like this is an actual thing. And like I said, some of you guys could be in denial about this whole situation because you don't want to accept that this person is like this or that there are people who are like this. But they are like that. Um, let me see what other cards they're in. We have Advocate. Yeah, they could have like tried to act like they were there for you and that they're this compassionate nurturing person so that way you would trust them and be there for them but no some of you guys they could even try to like get you to pity them in their situation but they treat people like this behind closed doors yeah like this person's committed to causes for their own personal gain this was only for their own personal gain it had nothing to do with how you felt or if it hurt you they just wanted to get what they wanted and that was that and it's not even just like in a sense of just through coitus but energetically this person like i said for some of you guys the person used money against you guys or some type of resource like because they're always fearful of like losing well some of you guys they could have used you for your money yeah that's so yeah to answer your question yes this person played you they also could have held their emotions back and a lot of times you feel like you were opening up emotionally but they weren't and so it's like this person got all this information about you but when it came to you trying to get to know them better they would ghost or they really, really wouldn't open up or you just notice like this energy where they were never consistent they also have trickster yeah this person manipulated you guys i'm so sorry you guys don't do that what else yeah they could have like even i'm hearing for somebody out there this person told you because you may have asked like what you were and they were just like, oh, you know, let's just play it by ear and just see what happens. You know, I'm, I'm cool being friends, but, you know, it'd be cool to have, have something more. But I just want to see how things play out. Like, they would just use that tactic or see things to get you to hold on to them and hold on to hope that it would to eval eventually, like, ele elevate into a deeper level of commitment. But no, they weren't going to give you that. So they want things to be all playful, flirtatious, and, you know, lighthearted. They didn't really want anything intense. And if it did get intense, what do they do? They avoid it, you guys. They avoid conversation. They avoid conflict. And they would act like everything's fine when you guys came in person and talked to each other. Because I'm hearing you guys would go back and meet up with them. But a lot of times it was at night time because I'm hearing booty call. I'm also hearing booty work, but, you know. I don't want to say that because that is what I picked up on earlier. But for some of you guys, the blackmail had to do with something that you did to them, like in the bedroom. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, spirits, you you guys are still kind of in the process of releasing this, but spirits saying like it's time to move on from this, like the cut ties. So that way you can be able to be open to receive what you need and want and deserve in a partnership because let's be real, no one deserves to deal with some BS like this. 
this person may have thought that you deserve this even though you deserve so much more some of you guys can be different or out of the norm or you may dress a little different or your personality may be a little bit different i'll also say this and i'm not trying to offend anyone because i am also uh audi hd but some of you guys could be autistic or even have adhd as well and you know this person may have tried to use that against you or or you know like they just thought you were different and i this person did talk badly about you guys so if you sense that mm -hmm, you guys are able to hear the conversations you know if someone's talking badly about you because you could feel it and you can also hear the conversation you just know so those little insights you're picking up on trust them it's not going to make the pain any less but that is what's happening and that's the confirmation you need the relationship is over no second chances that's how you guys are also for some of you guys are you're like you know what it's a dead, it's a dead. I don't like what happened. I don't like how this person used me for me, my money, or for my body, or all of the above. This person's not coming back in. We're not doing this on and off again dynamic. I, I'm done with this BS. I deserve more. And so you cut ties. So I don't sense that any of you guys are still in contact with talking to this person. You kind of, at this point, you're done with this person. You, have, you want nothing to do with this person. They may be like hoovering or orbiting your energy in some way and you guys may pick up on that or notice it because they could be like stalking you guys or spying on you guys if you're like active on social media but if not they don't really have a way of being able to know like what you're what's going on it's like except for like asking like fr family or friends because some of you guys they were close to your family and your friends or you guys that were part of the same friend group and so they might ask oh well you know, how's pile one doing? Like, you know, are they dating anyone? Da, 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 da. Like, you know, they're just trying to get some tea on you so they can know what's going on. That way they could also know, like, if they think they have a chance to come back in, but that's not gonna happen. I don't sense that spirit's gonna let that happen. This person's been through, through enough trauma already as is. I don't really feel like spirit's gonna be like, oh yeah, so let's, let's test and see if you learn this lesson. Let's have this person come back in. I don't sense anything like that. I sense it's more of a thing where it's like, okay, let's it's time to heal let's we're going to help you to tend to your wounds so you can move on from this person so that way you can heal yourself and then also get to a point where eventually you'll be open to another connection that actually is healthy and worthwhile instead of dealing with f crap like this yeah there was a runner chase for dynamic with this as well so yeah that's so for some of you guys you could have dealt with like codependency you guys could have had like an anxious attachment style or you know if you could be like have like dismissive or avoidant attachment style um but you don't have to but that is what i'm picking up on so for some of you guys um you may have issues with intimacy um and you may run away from connection especially with intensity and it may be hard for you guys to kind of let go and you may have an addiction to this hot and cold up and down dynamic so you're gonna have to work through healing that and you know go through the withdrawals of that person you guys have done a lot of healing though that that is what i'm picking up on energetically but you're obviously still hurting from this some of you guys you're kind of still at the the very beginning stages of healing this um and so there's still a lot of anger and sadness there but i'm mainly feeling anger because you're mad that this person hurt you you're mad that this person took advantage of you and that they did this and got away with it you feel like this was a huge injustice which to be fair it is um some of you guys are even thinking about possibly like taking this and putting it in court in some way or even possibly getting a restraining order on this person because of what happened so um i'm not gonna get the tarot out for this it's just it's gonna be straight up like an oracle reading but let me go ahead and get some channel messages that are out too that's gonna connect to this reading too i just don't want to do too much and get drained from trying to add all of that but um I think I was gonna say. I also want to say this too. I'm not trying to trigger any of you guys from the things I'm saying. I really am not. Um, but something I want to recommend is please talk talk to a professional if you feel called to. Also, I'm gonna I have a list of different hotlines that you could possibly call if you're feeling like you need that type of help as well. So check that out if you feel called to. Um, let's see. I'm scared of saying the wrong thing or making another mistake. Why? Okay, I just heard and saw third party. Okay, this person may put you in competition with other people too. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing the vision of this. For some of you guys, it could have been a thing like where 
you were with this person, but then there was this other party and this person could have left you for the other party or it could have been like going back and forth between you and the other party and they could have been talking crap about you to this other person. Like they would talk crap about you together. It's messed up. I'm facing and working on healing my wounds. No, they're not. They're full of crap. That may have like worked in the past as like, they're, I am picking up on like, you guys were together and then you stopped talking for a significant amount of time. And then what ended up happening is you guys reconvened and you're thinking that things were gonna change and they could have been like, yeah, you know, I'm sorry for how I treated you, you know, like, I've been working on myself and like healing and stuff and you know I realized that I was the problem but then they go right back to ghost and you were treating like crap again trying to create that same cycle that you had just gotten out of with them no ma'am <laughs> no sir no they them I feel stuck I talked to friends and family about you that's confirming what I was saying earlier but I'm trying to get information on What's going on with pile number one? And they may even try for some of you guys to try to act like there's something wrong with you and they're worried about you. So they're like talking to friends and family. It's like, oh, you know, I'm really worried about Stephanie or I'm really worried about Rebecca or Tim. Like, I, you know, I just want to make sure like they're fine. I am emotionally immature, but they would never admit that to anyone. They know. They know that what they did was wrong and they have to live with this. But here's the really interesting thing. This is gonna end up haunting them because of what they've done to you. So they may not have a conscience, but a part of their karma is gonna be that they're gonna end up having a conscience. And so everything that they did to you, they're gonna be haunted by it. I'm talking that like uh, nightmares. I'm talking different things that's gonna remind them of you and remind them of what they did. That's a part of their karma. I know this is not karma reading, but that is what I'm picking up on energetically. Can we run away together? Ew, you haunt me. I am wounded. I ask friends about you. I regret hurting you. Which is BS, by the way. I'm not ready to move on from you. Like I said, this person could be stalking if you guys are active on social media or if you still have a, have this person as friends. Some of y'all still have this person as a friend. Of course, they're going to watch your stories and stuff. It doesn't mean that they care about you. This person wants power and control over you. It had nothing to do with love. They, some of you guys, they could have lied to you and told you that they were in love with you. No, they weren't. They only said that so they can get what was in the pants. I care about what others think. They always allow the others to influence their opinions or perspectives on things. Yeah, so I would, like I was saying, they were talking about you, other people. Some of you guys, they could have been talking about the times that you guys were intimate as well. Like talking about your body and things like that. Some of you guys, and I'm not trying to trigger anyone, but you could have issues with your body, like body dysmorphia because of this. And now you have to work on healing your views of sex because this disgusting fuck. I'm sorry for cussing. I'm trying not to, but oh my god, just this is nasty energy. You helped me become a better person. Oh whatever. I'm scared to contact you. I just heard I'm stalking you. I'm hearing um well there's a certain saying and I can't remember how it goes but you know, online 24 seven. Yeah, that's that, that's that, that is that person. They have no life. <laughs> what can I do to gain your trust back? Some of you guys, they try to manipulate you by trying to come back in by using money. Oh yeah, you know how I said I, was gonna, I wasn't gonna pay for that. Oh, I'll help you with that. And I'm gonna say this too. Some of you guys could be uh, SW uh, workers as well. So and I'm not, I'm not saying that like in a way that there's anything wrong with that. Like you may do like, um, you know, online content like OF and stuff like that. So um, maybe that's how this could have been a client of one of yours or someone you met when you were doing work. But anyway, um, I want to have my cake and eat it too. Yep, like I was saying earlier, this person likes to be able to have more than one option or there's like, there's just this energy where they like putting people in competition because it makes them feel good. Because if there were two people who are fighting over them, they're like, oh yeah, 
I knew I was hot shit. I knew I was the shit. Like, yeah. I compare everyone to you. But the thing is, though, they can't get their minds off of you. And they're always comparing other people to you because they know that they'll never find another one like you. And I'm hearing, like, you guys may have been, like, this may have messed with your self-esteem and how you view yourself. But you guys are attractive. AF. Internally, externally. This person will never find a baddie like you ever again. <laughs> ever. Okay. Um, I don't care about your sexuality, like, whether you're male, female, non-binary. They will not be able to find another sexy mf -er like you ever again doesn't matter if you're different that's actually one of the main things that makes you really amazing is the fact that you're unique and you're different that's what makes you special in the best way possible so f this person just saying um <laughs> sorry you can tell i don't like people like this or like people like it just mm -mm. no no um, something else I want to say is they could have made, moved this connection really quickly to more fat, like a lot quicker than you guys were comfortable with as well. Some of you guys just went along with it because maybe you didn't know what was going on. Maybe there was some type of naivete and you didn't know that that was about to happen or, you know, that's a thing too. I feel like that's something that people don't really talk enough about, but that is something that does happen where you're hanging out with someone and then they try to do that, but you didn't know that that was going to happen and you're kind of in shock because, you know, you don't just always for, you know, when you're dealing with fight or flight like fight or flight you're not always like moving or saying anything sometimes you just disassociate and you freeze because you're like you don't know what to do you're trying to figure out okay this situation that i'm picking up on and seeing like is this an accurate portrayal of the situation or am i delusional because you're thinking that it has to look a certain way and it's like no you were used by your body i'm so sorry i dealt with that i wish you healing I wish you um, to be able to be comfortable like with yourself and your body and with your own sense of what you feel sexuality is, especially in relationships, and that you find someone that's better than this. But I know you guys will. Um, take your time with your healing, okay? There's going to be ups and downs. That's just how it goes with this. Um, there's gonna be some heavy emotions that may be hard to deal with. Some of you guys mainly have already dealt with a lot of these heavy emotions, but like I said earlier, some of you guys, this is a little bit newer, so you haven't had to do that before, so this is different, but pile number one, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part of, I'm gonna end your reading here. If it resonate with you guys, then let me know in the comment section below, but if you don't feel comfortable letting me know in the comment section, you don't have to say anything. I just won't let you guys know that. Like, I want you to have your privacy. Um, so if you feel called to like the video, you can. If not, that's okay too. You don't have to like the video. I just, um, hope that this wasn't too true for you guys and this confirms some of the things that you guys need to know. And I hope that it helped to also validate you and your experiences too. But, um, I hope you guys have a good one and I hope to see you guys in the next reading. And until then, pile number one, I bid you guys adieu. Peace, you guys. Okay, pile number two. I'm gonna be talking quietly because my kid is sleeping. You're gonna hear a TV in the background. So if you have to turn your volume up so you can be able to hear me, I'm also gonna put subtitles on here as well. Automatic subtitles so you can be able to fully hear what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> but um, pile number two, if you chose this pile right here, this card right here, which is self-love in reverse, then this is your reading. I'm gonna show you guys the cards and flip them over and then we're gonna figure out if this person's playing you or not. I definitely do feel like this was a lesson of self-love, but uh, when I was shuffling the cards for this, Spirit was telling me, because I was asking, I'm like, okay, it's a self-love thing. Is that on the person that they're asking about or is that um, gonna be like, those who are gonna view pile number two? They told me that it was you guys and them. So there was definitely a dynamic and it could have potentially been some, like, okay, psychic? Why am I saying psychic? It could have been potentially been toxic. And um, you guys may have both acted in certain ways because of the issues with self-love. So I'm definitely sensing this vibe where 
there could have been a lot of arguing and you guys kind of just playing off of certain energies where you're trying to see if you can hurt the other person and it may not have been like that at the beginning but that's just something that i am picking up on but let me see what else there is okay so we have this in reverse which is kitsune i will show you whom to trust you guys didn't trust each other at all because you have self-esteem issues you are still trying to learn to love yourselves and it's another thing too that i'm picking up on where you didn't trust each other because of past experiences so there that was already a red flag for the connection because you guys didn't trust each other you also have you are unlike anyone else your con contradictions and complexities are interesting we also have scared beetle armor you have a mighty shield you guys definitely hurt each other a lot i am picking up on that vibe like you guys definitely both put each other's shields down because you may have had like a shield because you guys felt like you had to be very protective of yourselves because you guys have both went through some pretty traumatic experiences and relationships and that played out in this unfortunately because you guys are still trying to heal yourselves and you guys also may have um a different perspective on how a relationship should be or what you want a relationship to be it may be like something that's a little bit out of the norm or it's just a thing where maybe there's a lot of the pot calling the kettle black that's something else i'm picking up on where you know one person get mad at the other for this but then they did that also also in reverse we have brother raccoon a safe place for you to go yeah you guys may have thought like it didn't feel safe in this connection neither one of you did and so you guys were both in this fight or flight response where you're hyper vigilant because you're like okay can i trust this person can i not you guys may have thought, okay, well, what if this person's like trying to talk crap about me? Or what if they're gonna, you know, betray me in this way? Or what if they're gonna do this and this? It's just kind of an energy of that. We also have the king. The ring. Some of you guys could have been engaged to this person. Or another thing I think of one is some of you guys could have actually been friends with this person. Like long-term friendship. We also have gnosis which I'm gonna have to get the booklet for that because I don't know what that means. But I'm gonna start off there with the cards and then get into everything else. Let me see, let me look up Gnosis real quick. Okay, let's see, this has to do with inner no, innermost knowing mystic truths. Ah, okay, so this definitely could have been a psychic connection. That's why I said psychic earlier. This is definitely a cosmic type of thing between you guys um i'm definitely sensing this vibe of a lot of mirroring so uh, having a lot of the same core wounds a lot of the same core insecurities fears it's like you're literally dealing with or talking to with some, someone who is just like you like you know and it creeps you guys out but you're like what the hell this is like my my doppelganger like my twin this person is just like me um, let's see, the true knowledge is not found in facts and figures and scholarly books on the library shelves. Rather, Gnosis points to the deep and timeless archetypal wisdom that rises from the felt experience of having touched the unknown with every one of the senses. Those who are drawn to Gnosis find themselves in esoteric studies likely involving mysticism, alchemy, healing, or perhaps science. You guys could have bonded off of this. Like, you guys are huge nerds, and you could have bonded this way. Um, anyway. Knowing is their calling. Not knowing is their job description. No matter how far the alchemists take their studies, they come to the ultimate conclusion that facts slip toward mystery, and soon the mystery results in facts. This card signifies a knowing that is life-changing. Once you experience it, you are forever changed, and you can't become a guardian of gnosis, but it eternal mystery is calling you study your passion the deepest way available to you okay so i'm definitely picking up this vibe and it's confirmed what i was talking about where okay so yeah this is a cosmic connection so like it could have been i don't want to say that you guys are like twin flames or soulmates but it's definitely a spiritual connection does that mean that if there is anything negative that between you guys that that warrants that oh you know well, they were soulmate or this you should just allow them to do that no that's not what i'm saying you should still have boundaries you should still be able to um speak your truth and still be able to stand up for yourself when you need to and let them know if like what you're okay with and what you're not okay with and if they value as a person and etc etc but um there is definitely this inner knowing between both where you're like okay there's a familiarity i'm definitely picking up a vibe of like you guys dreamed about one another 
but, and you may have dreamed about one another before you came into each other's lives. And for some of you guys, you may have been dreaming of this person for like about years, or like I said, you've known this person since childhood. Um, you guys may have felt like you were married before, or but like I said, there's just this kinship before, between you guys where you're like, okay, this person, they feel like my husband or my wife. Like, <laughs> you guys may have felt like this person, like if they felt like a spouse to you. But then it was weird because like, I don't really feel like you guys really, I don't know, there's something confusing or about your connection where it's like, you guys might not know what you are to one another. Like whether you're friends or something more, it's like the stasis of, well, will they or won't they type of thing that you see in a lot of television. Like that's, <laughs> that's you. You guys are the ones on, you know, uh, like for us viewers at home that are sort of yelling at the screen being like okay are will they or won't they are they gonna get together or not and then like you know you're thinking oh my god oh my god they're gonna kiss and then they get interrupted by someone you're just like what the fuck like it's just kind of thing. <laughs> like that i feel like that's like <laughs> how it is for you guys and you guys may have a certain friend group or same the same friends are always like wondering okay are they gonna get together or not like i'm tired of them being like, like you could tell that they like each other, but they're not acting on it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, there's definitely some Scorpio energy. Um, you guys definitely felt like trying to even get together in that way. It might be a risk. You feel like there's a lot to lose. And this is like on both sides. It's like, again, there's this mirroring energy. It's like you guys are fearful of coming together, especially because of your inner child wounds that you guys have. And like you're trying to heal from like the dysfunctional connections that you both dealt with, but it's like you're also trying to study each other at the same time. But you're like, okay, well, can I trust them? Can I let my walls down? Like it's like I want to, and I do trust them to a certain degree, but I don't know. What if I get hurt? What if I get burned? What if they shatter my heart? Am I gonna be able to handle that? That's kind of like how you guys are feeling um, on both sides. And you guys are just, like I said, said, trying to use your intuition and really gather evidence on one another. You guys both could be very spiritual also, but it's like you're trying to figure out, okay, hmm. So I noticed they said this, but then their actions didn't line up with that. Are they trustworthy? I do sense you guys might be creating red flags there that aren't even actually there. And it's because you have this fear because of these wounds. And you feel like it's going to be a gamble giving this person a chance because you feel like they're going to hurt you. You guys both want to date. There's a lot of flirtation between you guys. But again, will they or won't they? <laughs> the world may never know. <laughs> yeah, they want to date you. They want to date you guys. Because we have this teddy bear. But you guys are also both still trying to heal from toxic toxicity and heartbreak from these toxic connections that you how to deal with and that you're in, you know, these abusive relationships. You guys are both really fragile still. I feel like you guys could come together, but you gotta be careful because like you guys could trigger each other and hurt each other a lot because of the wounding that you guys both have. So like you might really want to take things slow, but I do feel this th something that calls into question is like, you guys need to have a conversation about how you're feeling and what you guys are both wanting in your feelings because I feel like it's mutual, but it's like you guys are both scared to take a risk or take a leap of faith by actually making a move, taking a chance. It's like you guys are both like, it's like you lean towards it and you're going to do it, but then it's like you back out because you start getting in your head and the, your thoughts start getting filled with, well, what if they hurt me and what if this happens and what if that? And it's like, you don't even realize like you're sabotaging the connection. We also have the girl with the snake. Mm. I'm gonna ask about this. I am gonna get the tarot out and ask about this, so I'm gonna talk about this later when I get a little bit more information. We also have hammer, sabotage. Yeah, you guys sabotage, but so did they. But you guys have tried to be persistent with this, but it's like it's hard. Are you persistent with working on yourselves and repairing yourselves? But I am picking up this vibe where you feel like you're too broken. I 
then we also have clock in reverse. Um, meeting time, cycles, take time. Well, it takes time, time to heal, prog progressing. Yeah, maybe you guys might need to take a time out and you know, you could still say how you feel, but also be honest about the fact that you're like, okay, I do like you and I do want this, but I don't know if I am ready for something that serious or that deep right now. And I don't want to hurt you. So I want to figure out something that maybe we can be able to do where we give our, each other space and time to heal and then maybe we can come back together in the future or maybe we could just try being friends and just going from there and like really getting to know each other better without like, you know, without getting involved romantically, without like, you know, coitus or any of that, but just really getting to just be friends and going on friend dates and stuff. Maybe that's something that you guys need because I do feel like this is something that's very healing for you guys this connection you're healing for one another you guys hold a lot of space for one another you can find each other but it's like you can find only to a certain extent i do sense this vibe of you guys being really scared to open up emotionally so it's like you got to avoidance or is it dismissive avoidance? i can't remember specifically but you, there's like two avoidance that are in this connection and so you guys are both pushing each other away date yeah it's like you guys want to go on a date and there's a lot of flirtation and it's a lot of alluding to that and you like but it's like you guys are scared of setting a date and you're scared of getting like back out there and like really connecting in that way because like there's a lot of damage that was caused like from these other connections for both of you guys let me see what other messages there are we have i wasn't myself yeah, when you're in this trauma, you're not yourself because you're acting from the place of the trauma and the fear versus like from a secured place and a, like even a stable or grounded sense of perspective or mindset on things. Um, I don't have to wear a mask with you. Like I was saying, you guys do feel comfortable, but it's like you're also terrified of this. I'm bored without you. I've ruined things between us. So someone definitely sabotaged. And I wonder if it has to do with this girl with the snake. I don't know if there's a third party or something, but hold on. I write songs about you. So your person could be a musician or you guys could be, and they write songs about you. Um, let's see, let me get my tarot out. Spirit, what is this uh, girl with the snake about? Like, what is, what's going on? What do you need to, to talk about? But there's someone that they made a hasty decision with, and I guess it may have been someone they had emotions for. Okay, I'm hearing they may be, okay, something happened for some of you guys where they may have pulled their energy like completely back because I don't know if there's like something that you did and it wasn't like purposeful that caused them to be like, oh no, I need to protect myself. Like they were impulsive and maybe they blocked you or maybe they... Hmm. Let's see. Uh, 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 yeah, they're getting in their head too much because they're burdened by their own thoughts and stuff about the past and the things that they've already gone through. They're overthinking things in this dynamic with you because again, they're like, oh, am I gonna get hurt? Are they gonna manipulate me? What if this happens? What if that happens? And again, that's like where a lot of the mirroring energy is, even though there's some deep emotions there, but it's like, they're just trying to be logical about it. But I think like, and there's nothing wrong with being logical about it to a certain degree, but they're so logical, they're trying to avoid their emotions and how they're feeling about you and it's like they need to be honest about how they're feeling yeah they're like under a lot of false illusions because of all these thoughts that they're having it's like they can't see the situation or how they're feeling clearly because they're like you know anything else here what is this um what does the girl with the snake have to do with though i get this one too Okay, so for some of you guys, there could be another commitment. Like maybe they were married to someone when you guys met and they were getting separated or divorced. That's what I'm hearing. Maybe they weren't actually single and that may have been confusing too. 
because you guys couldn't really make a move or say anything, or maybe you're having to wait for them to finalize a divorce. And you're having to be patient because you're having to wait for them to, like I said, get out of this connection that they're already in. So maybe there's like a third party that's there and maybe this person tried to, um, like I said, they, like it could be a marriage. What, what did this person do that's like saying that they're like enabling boundaries or... Okay, Spirit's telling me that the person that they're dealing with is very manipulative and they could have even used their own fears and insecurities against them to try to get you to not... Like, for them to not, like... I guess, create a... Like, elevate, like, your friendship into something more. That's pretty much it. Okay. Um, that's pretty much all I have for you, problem number two. That's all spirits telling me too. Um, if the reading resonate with you, let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a like, and just know like you don't have to comment unless you want to. Like if you want to keep like what you're going through, like with this, if you ch chose this pile, like you're okay to do that. But I also want like you guys to be able to feel comfortable to know that like you can do that and like you're not gonna get judged for that. There are probably other people who want to comment and stuff, but they're too scared to because they don't want to get judged for them experiencing like what I've talked about in these readings. But um, do what makes you feel comfortable. But uh, like I said, I hope to see you guys in the next reading. And until then, peace, pile two. Okay, pile number three. If you chose this card right here, which is changes and this is your reading um you're gonna hear the tv in the background i'm gonna be talking quiet because no one's sleeping so um if you feel called to maybe turn your volume up a little bit um and i'm also gonna put subtitles like automatic subtitles on as well so that way it'll be easier to follow along for the reading but um i'm gonna go ahead and flip the cards around and then show you them and then we're gonna get into if this person's playing you guys or not um, I will say, because I am feeling this energy a little bit, I feel like this connection could be toxic. It could be a thing where it's cyclical, where it's constantly going over and over again, like a pattern that has not come to an end. Um, it's a thing where like, you break up, get back together. You break up, get back together. You guys know you're toxic for each other, but you keep coming back together anyway, and inflicting a lot of harm on one another but you're also in turn receiving a lot of psychological and emotional damage because of this dynamic. Um, it could be a thing where you think that someone's changing it and they're not, or there's just a change that needs to be thrown forth, like a change needs to happen. But I know that's easier said than done in these type of dynamics because you have to want to want better for yourself. You have to want to believe that you can have something better, that you can leave this and that you're not codependent or stuck on this person. And that's not always easy because like sometimes some of those, those choices, like some of those situations can be very, very dangerous, especially when you are trying to leave. That's the most dangerous because that person is upset and angry that they don't have power and control over you and they don't want to let you get away. It just, it's not a fun thing. Um, this reading could potentially be triggering. I just am getting that vibe. So if you are easily triggered when it comes to this type of stuff like that, please don't watch, okay? Please only watch when you feel that you are in a headspace to be able to watch this video, okay? If you're in an emotional state and stuff, I would not recommend watching it. Watch it when you're in a more grounded place mentally, okay? Or where you've gone through a certain level of healing first to feel that you can handle what's going to be talked about but for those who are going to be staying let's go ahead and finish this off i also want to say because we got the number 29 right here some of you guys could be 29 years old you or this person that you're asking about but uh, we have little brother little sister siblings younger friends responsibility i do sense there could be an age gap between you and this person we also have snake princess the serpentine path to power like i said it's a dynamic where someone is a little power hungry there's a lot of domination and control, and I'm also hearing manipulation and coercion, but um, let's see, and this is in reverse. We have deep, dark, sea mermaid, find solutions in the unknown places in the darkness. 
you feel like you have no way out you feel like you're stuck with this person um you've been trying to stop the cycle with this person but every time you try to go down that journey where you're actually learning to empower yourself by healing yourself and letting the connection go you have a hard time dealing with all the pain that it's bringing up that you have to deal with and you want them to mitigate the pain so it's like you run back to them thinking that they're going to help heal you even though it actually makes you feel worse um for some of you guys i'm hearing it could be like a family friend or this can be a friend other family or some of you guys you have like a sibling and this is like their friend we also have pose brave fight you will not let fear stop you this time yeah you've been trying really hard to try to overcome these fears but of like ending this and being like i am done with this once and for all but you're terrified because you don't you're more worried about the repercussions and which i have to say i understand that but you also have to recognize this person's that power over you but i know each situation is unique with this so i'm not going to say fully follow what i'm saying i want you to use your own discernment and use and volume intuition there's also going to be a list of resources in this video in my description box that you can be able to check out if you feel called to call any of those hotlines that might help you with your situation as well and if you feel called to go talk to a professional please do that and talk to a professional as well to help you through this situation what you're dealing with as well or a shelter that's always helpful too um because you're gonna need outside help for sure with this i feel like but that's only if you want that help some of you guys i feel like you're staying as the kids but there are resources and stuff that are going to be available for you to, and them to be able to get away to be able to get housing and stuff like that you don't have to worry about all the other stuff i just i feel like that's the case for some of you guys and that's what spirit wants me to say to some of you guys um some of you guys can be 42 you could be 40 some of you guys can be 26 we also have some of you guys could also be 34 and this is a reverse a twist in the tail the unexpected a change you did not see coming i am picking up this vibe that this person's betrayed you and really did you like dirty in terms of the abuse and it's like spirits almost wondering like what is it going to take for you to realize like you need to leave this person and that you can do better i'm not trying to force anyone out of the situation by saying that but that's what they're having me say i know this is a little risky for the this such a serious topic but um they're saying like what is it going to take for you to finally be like okay i'm done with this i can't do this anymore i'm gonna leave even though i'm in pain even though i'm scared even though i don't know where to go i'm gonna leave I don't even want to say the other stuff they're just saying is it's going to be too triggering. Oh my gosh. The butterfly ferrets, I am reborn. This person won't allow you to grow. They won't allow you to go through changes that your soul wants to do, that you're actually meant to in this lifetime to be able to create the life that you wanted for yourself. Like you can't create the life you want for yourself by being stuck in a dynamic like this. It's always going to disempower you. It's always going to keep you in this state of you giving your power away to someone and giving them more power than they actually have. This person wants you to think that you're weak and that you can't stand up for yourself and that you're stuck to them and that you have to rely on them for everything when you really don't. And like, I am hearing that like there are solutions. I know sometimes that's not always the case for everybody. And I know it's not always the case where you could just leave like that. You know, you have to be strategic about this, but that's also what I'm saying, like to call one of those hotline numbers or talk to a professional, talk to a shelter if you're able to, so you can get some resources. You don't have to do this by yourself. I want you to be able to get to safety so you know that you don't have to deal with this person's crap. You know, the whole, oh, well, where are you gonna go? You don't have money, you don't have a place to go. Okay, bye. Like that's, that's what I would be like. I'd be like, okay, bye. I'm not saying that y'all have to be like that, but that's what I would, that's how I would be. I'd be like, all right, deuces, you're not gonna help me. You're gonna like put me in this type of situation. Like, and there may even be kids involved. And like, you like, mm -mm, no, I'll go be in a shelter. I'm not gonna deal with your crap because I don't have to. I'm not saying I said that to him, but, um, cause I am telling you guys a little bit of example of something I did for my situation, but you know, that's what it was for me. Like I left, I was very strategic with everything that is that I did. I had to be because I was not safe. Every second counted, you're nervous because they can tell that you're trying to leave and it's nerve wracking because like, you know, they're checking over your shoulder. Like they're asking like who you're talking to on the phone and stuff, who you're texting and they're not leaving you alone, giving you space by yourself and being very clean because they can tell that you're, you're about to leave because it's like they can pick up on it, snip up on it. Like 
within your energy. It's scary. Um, one thing I recommend, get a restraining order on this person. And if you do have friends around you and family who you can trust, please talk to them. Please reach out to them so you can be able to come up, come up with an exit plan. If you don't know what an exit plan is, if you're able to, look it up. Okay, and if some of you guys have to look it up, but they're like looking into your stuff, erase that part of the history for whatever you're using, okay? I just, I want you guys to be able to stay safe. And I know everyone's levels of this is varying, and I don't like that spirit time and give this reading because this is risky, and I don't want anyone to get hurt. Oh my god, Kairos, the mentor, the village. Yeah, you guys definitely, this group definitely has children. So if you don't have children, this is not your pile, okay? Um, the venom. Like, you feel like you have to suck the venom out because this person's highly, highly toxic. Like, this is a person that's been, like, pumping. Like, their, their blood's been pumping through your veins for a while. And it's like, you got to get away from this person. Spirit just said vervain for some reason. So I don't know if you guys work with, okay, some of you guys work with herb magic and stuff. Look into Vervain. They're saying to look into Vervain. You might be able to use that to help you with your situation also to get free too. You can use magic for that. For those who do magic. For those who don't, pray. Pray, get some resources, and go from there. Make a plan. Um, this person could have like even tried to act like they were a mentor towards you. You know, maybe they played into the idea to act like they were spiritual or acted like they were into the same things as you that way you would let your guard down and trust them and feel comfortable with them and build this type of camaraderie but mm -mm. for some of you guys this isn't even like romantic it could be some it could be a breath like a sibling of you yours you know whether that's a brother or sister uh for some of you guys um it could be someone that you're even living with and maybe you have someone like a roommate that's like younger than you but they could be like a brother or sister or for some of you guys maybe it's a friend that's like a brother or sister so like i'm picking up on different things with that so fit with what will for that um let me see we also have the vision yeah you guys uh are receiving visions about what this person how this person actually feels about you and stuff and like what they've been doing and doing behind your back but it's also another thing where you guys might be receiving visions about the future so listen to your intuition listen and pay attention to those visions Pay attention to your dreams, especially you're getting signs through your dreams. And they're also like spirits trying to give you messages about the situation and what you can do and just about this person in general. So pay attention to that. That's another way that you're able to get warned about what's going on around you or the people around you. And if you don't know how to do that, um, when, before you go to sleep, when you're in that really sleepy state, you could put a, you could say a type of mantra to remember your dreams at night. Okay. Um, or that you're gonna be awake in your dreams and then that can help you because as you're doing that on a subconscious level, your subconscious will start to repeat that affirmation so that way that actually happens. And then you'll start to remember your dreams and you'll become more aware and lucid in your dreams. This is also another way to be able to kind of become learn to lucid dream. Anyway, we also have the mystic. I do feel for a lot of you guys, this was like um, a narc impact type of situation or dynamic so this person was definitely feeding on you and your energy so my neighbors are being loud i don't know who these people are like they've been really loud lately but i know that's a distraction so if you guys heard that i apologize okay but um i know that's just to try to get me off and I'm not going to do that. You guys may also have to deal with a lot of distractions or people who are trying to knock you off your path or distract you so you don't stay on your path or go where you're supposed to go. Because you're meant to go down a path of you stepping into your power and not dealing with this type of stuff anymore. You actually are meant to have a life where you have like money and you have stability and you're able to be happy. Yeah, there's going to be some days where you're going to be feeling like crap and you're not always happy. And, but yeah, there's also going to be good times too though. But you're also meant to enjoy your life and have fun too. It's not supposed to always be doom and gloom by you being stuck dealing with people like this. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, this person definitely messed with your foundation. And like I was saying, oh, I knew it. It was, it was This was a karmic connection for a lot of you guys. There's a lot of like built up resentment that you guys have and you guys have a lot of triggers because of this person. Because the way that they beat down on you guys. And I'm not talking about physically, but I'm saying like mentally and emotionally. Um, I'm really trying not to trigger anybody. This is like going to be bringing on a huge form of growth and stability for you guys. And also that inner, insecu that inner security that you've always wanted in yourself. But yeah, this person's like, they're, I'm not trying to talk crap. This person has something wrong with them, like mentally, where they think that this type of behavior is fine and they don't, it's like they don't see that they're hurting people. They don't see that what they're doing is wrong. Like they think it's okay to mistreat people and, and enact this type of harm on others. And just, yeah. And I'm not trying to say like, oh my God, there's something wrong with people who are mentally ill. Dude, I deal with anxiety. Like I've also dealt with depression. There be moments where sometimes you can get scared that you're gonna slip back into that. So like, please don't be in my crap saying that. <laughs> but anyway, regardless of all of that, and when I mean my crap is like, don't be in my comment section like doing that. Like I hate when people purposely or just like try to like, they try to shift or twist my words in a way from what I actually don't mean. Like that makes me mad because it's like, okay, this is what I mean and this is what I said. I don't do that whole, oh, I'm lying about stuff. No, this is how I actually am seeing things. This is how I actually feel. I don't have to manipulate. I don't have to sit there and do this thing where I, you know, say one thing, but then I do the next. Like, and what I mean by this is if you want to believe that I'm not a trustworthy person, hey, that's on you. I'm kind of used to people making me the bad guy. So if you want to make me the bad guy, because I'm the bad guy in a lot of people's stories, one, you can get in line and also know that I don't mind being the bad guy. Because at least I'm being myself. At least I am loving and accepting myself as I am. So if you don't like that, but for those, I hope that for those who actually do see me for who I am, I hope that those are the ones you're connecting with these messages. Because that this is who that's for. But anyway. Yeah, you guys have a tendency to channel information too through your writing. So that's another way that spirit can give you a message about how to work through this situation too. Now we're starting to get a little woo woo because you guys are definitely mentors and you guys definitely are mystic. You guys are spiritual. You've been spiritual for many, many lifetimes. We have this person had a tendency to alternate between facts, you know, always saying, oh yeah, you know, um, I like this and I'm like this and da da da, da. you know, I'm spiritual. No, no, they're not. No, they're, they're freaking lying. Um, and you are able, to, or at least you guys are, you guys are kind of starting to recognize that this person lies a lot, but it's like you still haven't really quite trusted yourself yet. It's like you're in, you have this inner knowing like, okay, this person's full of crap and lying, but you keep feeling like you need validation and confirmation to know that you're right. You guys are very clear cognizant. So, yeah, automatic writing, get into that. Also, learn about clear cognizance so you can understand your gift more. Because when you're sitting there like channeling like that, kind of like what I'm doing right now, and uh, you start getting that information coming in like that, that's clear cognizance. That way of you just naturally knowing something, you start speaking about what this person's doing, what they're saying. Yes, that's what it is, that's what's going on. That's not in your head. That's the way that information's coming through you because you're a like an open vessel to be able to channel spirit. So listen to that, pay attention to those things. Pay attention to your dreams. Seriously, if you don't already write them down, you need to write them down. That's gonna be helpful for you. Also, we have child nature. You guys are very deeply connected to nature. Um, that's also gonna help you be able to stay grounded as you go through this situation too. Um, I hate to say this, I'm not trying to trigger anyone, but this person may, like if you guys have like animals, like pets, I am seeing dogs, they could have did something to your dogs. Uh, let's see. You guys are very closely tied to not just nature, but the animals too. You guys may be connected to certain animal spirits. Um, let's see, the crow, uh, owl, what else? Butterflies is another thing. You guys, I want to say too, because like I'm seeing stuff that's kind of like making me think of Lilith. Some of you guys might have a tie to Lilith because of the owls that are right here too. Or, uh, 
Hecate. Or certain deities that have to do with like um, the psychic senses, like the third eye. So maybe like Astaroth or um, I don't know why I'm like, like spirits have me say King Payman. So maybe King Payman. I'm also hearing King Belial, but I don't know if, I don't remember if Belial actually works with like the psychic senses or not. I can't remember. Uh, some of you guys are maybe Lucifer, but like you may be getting pushed down to like work with like more like the left-handed path deities. Um, yeah, they could be calling out to you or you could be connected. To, some of you guys could also be connected to uh, Ouroboros or you need to look into what Ouroboros means. This is definitely a cycle that you've been in. There's a lot of elements here talking about a cycle that keeps changing, like keeps going through the same, like it's like a, a wheel that just keeps constantly turning and it hasn't changed the directions. Um, you're being asked to do that with this whole dynamic. They're saying only you can make the change. Only you can change this. Like you, they can help you and stuff, but here's the thing. If you're wanting help from them, ask them. It's okay for you to do that. Otherwise they can't really just, like, I'm not saying that they can't help you, but they can't help you to the level or the degree that you want if you don't ask. You have free will, they know this. So ask them for help. Another thing, um, yeah, just ask them for help. Ask them for help. There's something else I was gonna say, but I got sidetracked because there's a lot of noise going on around me. Um, I am thinking of the vibe too that this person could have stole stuff when you guys went to the store and stuff too. Like you guys would go shopping together and they would steal stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna be quiet. I'm not trying to judge anyone by what it is I'm saying, but. Yeah, this person definitely lied and act like they were spiritual or like they were some type of spiritual leader you know, guru being like, oh yeah, you know, I know about the third eye and I love, I know about clear cognizance and I know about clairvoyance and yeah, I know about the chakras, you know, they could have been like that, but this person was a narc. This person doesn't even know who they are. And you guys know this, but you still have a lot of doubt in your mind because of the damage that this person's caused. So you're gonna have to work with rebuilding your confidence in yourself, your self-esteem, but then also your trust with yourself and trust with your intuition. Cause you guys are highly psychic. Um, but this person unfortunately came in and kind of caused you to become disempowered and get you to start doubting yourself. And so now you're not recognizing how powerful you actually are. So you're meant to step back into this and remember that because you guys are also really good with magic. So, you know, don't doubt what it is that you do. Some of you guys, I am hearing that you may want to throw a return to cinder or uh, you may have thrown a return to cinder to <laughs> this person. Like you're trying to do things to suck this venom out of your life and you guys are starting to recognize it as this person but um yeah there's different energies with this but let me see what uh messages there are and then we're going to close this reading out i can't give you what you want it was my fault something i'm picking up with i can't give you what you want is like it could have been a thing where they could have acted like they were going to give you guys certain things but then when you ask for it they'd be like oh you're asking for too much or oh like it's just they always made it you feel like you didn't do enough like you aren't giving me enough attention why aren't you hugging me oh my god like it's just this person was so hungry for your energy and attention it didn't matter if they got it in a negative way or positive way they wouldn't leave you alone they wouldn't shut the f up they just kept talking and talking and talking and talking about themselves and trying to poke at you. And you're just like, oh my God, get that F away from me. Like you guys got tired of this person. That's why you guys would leave, but it's like you would be scared of staying in that energy. You have to overcome the fear, stand in your power, allow yourself to know that and then tell yourself and have acceptance for the fact that yes, you're going to feel pain after you leave this person. Yes, you're gonna have moments where you feel lonely. You're gonna wanna reach back out. You're gonna be scared and like to do all this work by yourself, but you can do it, you're worth the spirit. You can use, utilize your magic in a way to help you heal and work through this stuff. But that's a form of transmutation. If your way of doing that is through alchemy, like, you know, out using alchemy in terms of like candle work and like doing herbal magic, then do it. If that's what helps you, do that. If you need to do healing spells that way, do that. Stop being scared of like your own craft. You guys are like, this is the pile. Like you guys are mystics, you guys are spiritual. You guys are, you know, my witches, my sorcerers, my sorceress. Like y'all do magic. Y'all know what's up. But yeah, trust in what you know. Some of you guys have been knowing about this since you were 19 or you learned when you were a kid or you just like, you're someone who's like, maybe possibly like in their forties or older. And like, you've been doing magic for a long time, but it's like you 
started to doubt your own magic because of this situation and you feel stuck and it's like no you're not stuck you need to work the magic work the magic what i recommend for you guys too if you really want to be able to let this go cut the cord don't do it in a way or a means to harm other people do it for you so you can be able to move on from this so you can realize you know what i still am powerful this person didn't do like this person may cause psychological and emotional damage but I am still powerful AF and I will never let anyone take my power away like this ever again. That's what you're going to end up embodying. That's the energy you're starting to shift into. Um, I send you songs to them. Okay, whatever. I'm going to try to hurt, but this is not only this person's energy. I'm crying over you. This person cries crocodile tears. You don't see any tears come out. They're like, nothing comes out. I didn't see things clearly, but I do now. That person's a liar. I am scared of commitment. Someone that I am connected to is jealous of you. I am heartbroken. I am addicted to you. They're addicted to your energy. I don't want you to date someone else. And I want power over you. That confirms what I was saying earlier. They want power over you. <laughs> That's why they keep doing what they're doing. But you have to recognize if you want your power back, you don't let this person keep doing this stuff to you. You have to realize and recognize you deserve better and you have to put that into motion through your actions, your next actions. If you want things to shift, you have to shift things. You, if you want to leave, you have to make that happen. It can't be a thing where you're just waiting for the universe to do everything for you. Mm -mm. You need to do the work. And sometimes it may be a thing like where you're being pushed to do, make a certain decision. It may not go the way that you expected because you're trying to get out of a situation, but just know that things will get better, especially as you're working on it and you're working with spirit. This is going to be a good time for you to also build a deeper bond with spirit if you uh, need to work on um, your gifts with like clear audience and like talking, like the ways that they communicate with you. So you can be able to recognize the signs. Definitely do that. That's going to be helpful. And you're going to have a deeper bond with them at this time too because of you doing this. So... But with anything that you hear also like from readings and stuff i'm hearing like you guys need to use your discernment okay use your intuition that's gonna let you know if it's for you or not don't just blindly follow like what you're hearing if it doesn't resonate that means the message is not for you if it doesn't resonate that means it doesn't resonate it's, it means that maybe you need to get your information from yourself or you need to work with spirit like there's just different things like in the ways that they give information but if it doesn't resonate that means the message wasn't for you and that's all it is you know, it's not like meant to like offend anybody. That's just bit, that's just basically it. But um, that is all I have for your reading file number three. Um, <laughs> thank you for hearing my babbling. <laughs> but anyway, regardless of all of that, um, let me know if it resonates with you guys. Give this reading a like, and I, until then, I hope you'll see you guys in the next reading. And by Pell 3 and I wish you guys healing and for you to be able to get to security for you to be safe and not have to deal with this person anymore or this situation but until then peace you guys